Hey guys, I hope you all are having a good day, and thank you all for joining me in another episode of Titanic History. And before we get started, I just have to say again, wow, uh, the last video just, it makes me really happy to know that you guys are enjoying my work and liking everything, and anyway, I'm going to keep doing videos like this as often as I can, so y'all are enjoying it and everything, make sure you hit that like button and please subscribe. That way we can keep on doing more videos and stuff like this in the future. Anyway guys, thank you very much and let's get into the topic of this video. Alright, so today's video is about a sad story in relation to the Titanic. Kind of in a way, Titanic's own little Anastasia story, if any of y'all are familiar with her and the Romanovs in Russia. Anyway, the story is about a little girl named Lorraine Allison and her entire family. I will show a picture of her right now. This is Lorraine Allison, and she was the only first-class child to die in the sinking of the Titanic. This photo shows Lorraine Allison with her little brother Trevor, and her father, Hudson Allison, and her mother, Bess Allison. Now, Lorraine Allison and her family, uh, they were all in the first-class section of Titanic. And Lorraine Allison was the only first-class child to die in the sinking. There were no second-class children lost. The only other children lost were in the third class, unfortunately. So, after the Titanic struck the iceberg, the entire family kind of went chaotic. Now, Lorraine Allison was two years old at the time of the sinking, and her little brother Trevor was a year and a month, so both of these children are extremely young. So, the family was traveling with some servants, and they had a nanny who was in charge of taking care of the kids and stuff when the parents were busy. And right after the Titanic struck the iceberg, their dad went up on deck to find out what had been going on. And uh, when he returned, he found his wife and Lorraine but the nanny and Trevor were gone. The nanny had ended up taking Trevor with her when she went down to the lower deck levels to find the other servants that the family was traveling with to help them get up on deck. And that's how this whole mess of what happened to the family came to pass. Now, when it came to the nanny and Trevor, they made it to a lifeboat almost immediately. They got completely separated and everything was chaotic, so they headed straight to a lifeboat and the Allison family was unaware of this. So the nanny and Trevor are off the ship, they're safe, and the other family doesn't know. And so the husband took Lorraine and her mom and dropped them off at a lifeboat. And then at some point, somehow, there's no real record of how, they got separated from their dad. I'm assuming that he went to go and look for their baby. So the, uh, Lorraine and her mom were waiting to get on a lifeboat and somebody told her that they were about to get on the boat. They were about to be safe but somebody told her that her husband was on the other side of the ship. So they went over there to try to find him and he wasn't there. And when they came back to their lifeboat, it had already left. And so at that point, they made it their mission. They're like, okay, we are not gonna leave the ship until we find our child. And they were referring to Trevor, unaware that he's already off the ship and completely safe. Now, here's where their story gets a little more interesting. So they spent so much time trying to find Trevor, not realizing that he was already off the ship, that all the lifeboats and everything that was going on around them, the lifeboats were leaving and the ship was rapidly sinking. And so they got to a point, like uh, Lorraine's mom got to a point where she's like, okay, we've got to save our daughter. But by that point, all the lifeboats were gone. So they didn't know what to do. So they were desperate to try to, to save their child. And they're, it's kind of hit and miss, and this is kind of speculation, but I tend to think it's true because uh, Lorraine's body was never found. But there is reports that they made it to the collapsible lifeboats. The collapsible lifeboats were the two lifeboats at the very, very front of the ship, and they were located right here by the first funnel. So the one right here on this side of the ship, this is the uh, starboard side, that's collapsible A right here and this is collapsible B. And the report is that they did make it to collapsible A. Now, what you need to understand about the way the Titanic sank, right up until the very, very end, she sank relatively slowly, but then greatly accelerated once the water started to get up to the bridge level. So they took collapsible A off, they, they got it away from the funnel, and they dropped it down onto the main boat deck. Uh, there's a clip of that right here. 
This shows collapsible A being pushed down from the deck of the officer's quarters down onto the main boat deck. And it is theoretically this lifeboat that Lorraine and her mom used to try to escape the ship. So, once they did that, they tried to attach it to the, to the davits. And the davits are the lifeboat davits are how they, you can barely see them right here. But these are what they used to drop the lifeboats over the side. But they tied collapsible A to the davits, but by then it was too late. The ship was dropping way too fast, and the lifeboat was beginning to float. He submerges. And they couldn't release it either, because uh, of the weight of all the people, and the ropes were getting pulled tight because the ship was dragging it down with it. So what an officer had to do was he took his gun and he shot the ropes out that were holding collapsible A to the ship. And Lorraine and her mom were in that, and what happened at that moment was the entire lifeboat shot straight up because it was suddenly buoyant, throwing Lorraine and her mom and everyone else into the ocean. Now, the entire family, with the exception of Trevor, was lost in the sinking. And at the time that the collapsible A shot upwards, because like I said, Lorraine's body was never found, there was a lot of stuff going on right in their area. Right after Collapsible A shot up and threw everybody into the ocean, this is the scene that the people would have been encountering. The first funnel going down and the ship rapidly dropping in the water. A lot of things were going on, so with everything happening there, who knows what happened to them. But, so, as I said, Lorraine, um, her father and her mother were all lost in the sinking, and Lorraine was the only first-class child to die in the sinking, but Trevor and the nanny got away safe in a lifeboat. Now that, you, now that you already know about Lorraine and what happened to her, this is where the Anastasia twist that I mentioned at the beginning of the video comes in. In 1940, a woman named Helen Kramer approached the relatives of the family, and, they said, and she said that she was Lorraine, even though she was, there was no relation to her whatsoever. This was just a woman trying to swindle them. She was trying to get in on the family, get in on their money and all that other stuff. Anyway, the family wasn't fooled, and they got rid of her. It created some turmoil for a while, but they were able to get rid of her. And they never saw the woman again. As soon as, they, as, soon as she gave up on her efforts, she disappeared, and the descendants of the Allison family never saw this woman again. Then in 2013, there's actually a foundation, the uh, Allison Family Foundation, and they obtained DNA samples, and they actually tested it, just to be 100% certain that she had no relation to the Allison family. And surprise, surprise, she wasn't. She was not related. This was just some woman trying to take advantage of a family and get money out of the ordeal. It's just like what happened with Anastasia. A woman showed up years later claiming that she was Anastasia, even though there was no relation to her whatsoever. Anyway, guys, um, so now you know the story of Lorraine Allison, the um, only first class child to be lost in the sinking and the little controversy that showed up years, decades later after her unfortunate passing on the RMS Titanic. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it insightful and educational. And as always, please hit that like button and please subscribe. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.